Mikey D here, the Gumba Gourmet. Welcome back. I spoke about this in my previous video with the pork loin. I wanted to do my pasta cheese balls. So uh, let's get to it. This is going to be something that's um, pretty fun and fairly simple. get on to this. So the pasta is cooked up, okay, the thin spaghetti. I um, chopped it up a little bit more and rinsed it in cold water. Okay, I don't want it hot because we've got to mix a few things into it. Okay, so what we're going to add, um, I like to add little vegetables, so my son likes peas, so I'm going to add some peas in there. We've got maybe three quarters of a cup. So next, I am going to add some Parmesan, about two tablespoons, grated Parmesan, uh, about a tablespoon and a half of chopped garlic, about a teaspoon and a half of salt, teaspoon black pepper. We've got a little bit of olive oil. Okay. Little bit of that white cooking wine. Okay. Next, I've got some grated Parmesan, I mean uh, grated mozzarella, and we already put the Parmesan in grated mozzarella, and some Asiago cheese. We've got here uh, about a cup and a half. So I put about a cup of mozzarella and I put about um, a half a cup of the Asiago. So let's add that. Now, what else are we going to add? Ooh, how about some rigotto? We've got a, it's about a cup and a cup and a quarter, a cup and a half of ricotta. Okay, so now what are we going to do? Got to add our parsley. Fresh chopped parsley. Okay, so the ring's coming off for this one. Okay, here we go. Mix this all up. Get it real nice. Okay, once it's all mixed up, Now what I want to do is take a little bit. I have two scrambled eggs here. Put a little water in and I thinned it out. You don't have to do that. But um, I'm actually going to use some of this egg mixture again. So I'm going to add some of that in there. Probably equivalent to one egg. Okay. Mix that all up nice and good. Okay. Now what I want to do is I want to put this in the fridge. I want it to cool. It's all mixed up. So I just want to cool it down. And then we're going to form it. Now you can make this into patties, you can make it into a bowl, whatever you want to do. Okay, maybe we'll do both. I don't know yet. We'll see. See you in a minute. I chopped up the uh, pasta a little bit more, okay, and we're basically going to form them like we're making a meatball, only no meat. Okay, so all you got to do, a little bit of that egg mixture, roll it around in the breadcrumb. Well, I made a lot here. You know, you could eat it just like that. And heat it up. Oh, awesome. 
Okay. One down. Okay. And just keep doing it till it's all gone or whatever you want to do. Like I said, you can do this. Um, make it into a ball. I've made them that are more like a, uh, a patty. About half inch thick. Okay. Real simple. Coat it. You know, I am going to make, since, believe it or not, I've been trying not to eat carbs. I've um, been trying to follow the keto diet, and you're looking at me going, are you kidding me? What? But all the, 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 the food you make, these high carb things, well, guess what? I don't really eat too much of it. I do taste um, a little bit now. I used to eat a lot more of it, but what I'm going to do, because, you know, a lot of people are really into the whole keto thing right now. So there are some recipes that I'm going to do that are going to be keto friendly, like the um, cauliflower, the head of cauliflower I made last night because I was in the mood for a little snack at around, I don't know, maybe 8.30, 9 o'clock watching TV. I really didn't eat dinner. So I had a head of cauliflower in the fridge and I said, let me cook this up. Well, let me tell you. Um, I was really blown away at how delicious um, this is. I have some left that I'm probably I'm actually going to have tonight um, with the pork roast. Okay, and that'll be my vegetable. So anyway, here we go. I'm going to make these up. Then we're going to fry them up. Okay? Okay, so let's get frying up. Ball number one going in. Ball number two going in. Ball number three. Hello, ball. That uh, was gone. Okay. Anyway. Oh, look at these. Oh, my goodness. Oh, oh, forget about it. Forget about it. This is what it's all about. Beautiful. Get that oil nice and hot. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Let's put the other two guys in there. We don't want them to be lonely. They shouldn't feel like they're being left out. Okay. Let it fry up. This won't take very long. I've got a pan here with some paper towel. We're going to take them out, we're going to put them in that pan, and we're going to enjoy them, and we're going to eat them up. Okay, so they're frying up nicely, as you can see. You want to get that oil really hot, probably around 450, 475 at least. Um, get them in quick. They will start to break up if it takes a little too long. Okay, I could have had this oil a little bit hotter. Um, but I'm rushing along here. We'll be home soon for dinner. So, anyway, here we are. And uh, they're pretty much done. Okay, so here we are. They're all done. Okay, our pasta cheese balls, capellini balls, whatever you want to call them. Um, a famous name for them is actually capellini, capellini alfredo. Um, I use the thin spaghetti. So you can use what you want. You can play around with this, mix it up. Um, basically, you know, here's what you got. And you Cut this open. I'm gonna have to. Uh, if you can just see that, you see. Oh, oh yeah. Um, I'm gonna have to go off my my carb diet a little bit here. So a little bit. Um, Got a fork on my drawer here. Okay. Now I do have some sauce left over from what I made the other night. You could heat up some uh, marinara sauce. Put it on it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh my. Oh. Mm hmm. All right. That's really good. Okay. Thank you for watching. I hope uh, you make this and enjoy it. Uh, any questions? Hit me up. All right. In the meantime, Goomba Gourmet, Mikey D, where we cook, we eat, we drink, 
everything else in life that stresses us out. Forget about it.